Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you my complete Sidney Lumet film collection. Now I don't have all the films. I've talked a little bit about Sidney Lumet on the channel before. There's a couple of individual videos on uh, a few of his films, but I thought I'd show my complete collection and some of his later films I don't have and there's also some films in the middle of his career I don't believe I have either, but I'm going to show you what I have today. And I'm going to say I highly recommend Sidney Lumet and his films. Uh, Sidney Lumet is a director who started off in the theater and was involved in television shows for many years. So he has the work ethic and the discipline of working in television and then uh, just made some amazing, amazing films. So if you're going to start with Sidney Lumet, I, I may have talked about this before, I highly recommend this documentary by Sidney Lumet. I think it's available on Amazon, but I ordered a physical media copy of this because I watch it so much. This documentary I probably watch two or three times a year and it's very fascinating talks about his whole career it's basically just him talking about his movies and then clips of the movies and I should say too I'm going to go through these films in chronological order there's various labels here represented I'm not going to talk too much about each of the films but I wanted you to get a sense of if you're if you're interested in studying Sidney Lumet maybe these are some of the films that you could start with and uh, and films that I've really enjoyed so the first one I'm going to talk about is his first film, uh, 12 Angry Men. There's an amazing uh, Criterion Collection edition of this movie that I'm showing you here with lots of extra features on it. 12 Angry Men, it's a classic. If you don't have anything from the Criterion Collection, this is one to get. Uh, it's a good one to own and to have and to study. So 12 Angry Men uh, is his first movie. The next one also from the Criterion Collection, and again, I'm going in chronological order here. Uh, is The Fugitive Kind with Marlon Brando, and there's the front and the back of that. Sidney Lumet has three films represented in the Criterion Collection, and these are the first two uh, of, his, of his movies that I have anyway. Next one is A View from the Bridge. This is an adaptation of an Arthur Miller play, and since Sidney Lumet grew up in the theater and is very familiar with theater, He's pretty well known for directing uh, film versions of theatrical plays, and this is a good one. <clears throat> Along that vein, Long Day's Journey Into Night. This is a Eugene O'Neill play with Katherine Hepburn and Jason, uh, let's see, uh, Katherine Hepburn, uh, Sir Ralph Richardson, Jason Robards, uh, Dean Stockwell, and this is, this is a great version of this play. Moving into his film career, and again, I'm probably missing some here, so if you have a favorite that's in between some of these films, please leave me a comment below. I don't have his full collection, as I mentioned, but this is The Pawn Broker, one of my favorite Sidney Lumet films with Rod Steiger, who I believe won, won an Oscar for this movie, and um, yeah, he won the Best Actor Oscar for this movie, and it's just an amazing performance and an amazing film. The third film represented in the Criterion Collection of Sidney Lumet's is Failsafe, starring Henry Fonda. Um, and this is a great movie if you haven't had a chance to see it. Many of these too, uh, I've answered this before in the channel, but some of these I have sealed because I do have the Criterion channel and I have seen the film before. So unless I'm ready to look into this, uh, some of the extra features, I may keep these sealed until I'm ready to watch it again. This next one is a uh, this is an indicator release called The Anderson Tapes. Uh, Sidney Lumet quite famously did five films with uh, Sean Connery, and this is one of them. I really enjoy this film. This one has a lot of extra features by one of my favorite labels of all time, Indicator. From Kino Lorber, uh, Sean Connery again in The Offense. I uh, really love this movie. It has a lot of great dramatic moments, um, some quiet moments as well. Really, really good movie from uh, released by um, Kino Lorber. Getting into the 70s here, Serpico with Al Pacino, one of my absolute favorite movies. This is probably one of the first movies I saw of Sidney Lumet's and I was really, really, really enjoyed it. I probably saw it in the 70s and I really love this film, Serpico. From 1974, Murder on the Orient Express, an amazing film, again, from Sidney Lumet. A lot of small um, spaces in this particular movie uh, taking place on a train, but it's a great murder mystery if you haven't seen this one. Uh, highly recommend it. Uh, this would be great on a Blu-ray release or a, as a Criterion release as well. 
Just a classic dog day afternoon with Al Pacino again. And uh, this particular version has a great documentary on it called the I Knew It Was You, Rediscovering John Cazale, or John Cazale. I probably got the name pronounced wrong there. But uh, this one also has a commentary and some extended interviews. And this is a great film if you haven't seen it again from the 70s. This is a classic network screenplay by Patty Chayefsky, and it is an amazing Sidney Lumet film. Again, in the 70s, my favorite, one of my favorite decades in cinema, and uh, this, is, this, is a, this is a classic. The two-disc version of Prince of the City uh, with Treat Williams, and this has an extra disc and just a great uh, police drama. And this has a new feature at Prince of the City, the real story, and a theatrical trailer. And uh, I wish there was a Blu-ray of this film or a Criterion release of this film also. The next film is Death Trap with Christopher Reeve, Michael Caine, and Diane Cannon. And this is an adaptation of an Ira Levine play and I really like this. I saw this in the theater as well. I think I was probably, well, I was a big Superman fan, so I was headed to the theater for that and then realized later that it was a Sidney Lumet movie. And it's a really great adaptation of a, of a, of a creative kind of murder mystery type play. So I really like this one. And the last film I have in my collection, anyway, of Sidney Lumet films is Paul Newman in The Verdict. If you haven't seen Paul Newman in The Verdict, I highly recommend it. It's one of his best performances, in my humble opinion. And what an amazing film this is. The close-ups, the drama, the just Paul Newman's performance itself is worth the price of admission on this film. This is a two-disc set, and it's got uh, three all-new featurettes. Paul Newman, The Craft of Acting, Milestones in Cinema History, The Verdict, and Sidney Lumet, The Craft of Directing. So highly recommend that. Now I do. I have seen uh, Sidney Lumet's last film, *Before the Devil Knows You're Dead*, with um, Philip Seymour Hoffman and Ethan Hawke, I believe, and I really like that one as well. I, as I mentioned in the beginning, I don't have all the Sidney Lumet films. I will hopefully collect them all uh, one of these days. And I know there's some other really good ones in there that I've been looking for. Uh, *Night Falls on My um, Night Falls on Manhattan*, I think, was one of them that uh, some uh, folks had mentioned, and I haven't seen that one yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. So that's my full collection of Sidney Lumet films. And again, if you haven't seen Sidney Lumet films, I would highly recommend watching one or two of his films, especially those in the 70s or 12 Angry Men. That's where I would start, 12 Angry Men, and then perhaps a few of his movies that were in the 70s. Uh, those are my favorites anyway. So, And there's many, there's many films of his that I really enjoy, but those are the ones I would recommend starting with. Um, so... If you like this video, click on like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And I sincerely hope everyone is safe and well. And I'll talk to you soon.